volunteer science gadget things. Number five, I knew there'd be a couple of lightsabers in here. <laughs> so I went with the Z6 jetpack. Uh, sometimes they could be customized with Beskar, utilized by the Mandalorians, which are Ooh. which uh, was pivotal in evening the score against the Jedi when they were battling the Jedi. Uh, number four, I went with the hat. The, the, the haptic suit from Ready Player One. Number three, I went with the Power Morpher from the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Uh, <laughs> number two, I went with the uh, Proton Pack from the Ghostbusters because that's a classic. Give that paying homage to Carl Urban, I went with Lawgiver from Dread. Number one. Andy, I think, was it your turn next? Leaned into Star Trek because there's a lot of good stuff in Trek. Like the teleporter. Also the Universal Translator. So you can easily understand people in various languages. Then, uh, you know, from whatever franchise you want to pick from, but a time machine is always a good gadget to have. DeLorean, a lot just, of or just time machines. the time machine, you know, from the uh, um, H.G. Wells, or I did go with the sonic screwdriver from Doctor Who, because it makes sense. You can fix just about anything with that. And then the uh, deep cut, I went with the. Delano 5000, which came from a uh, movie from a guy I have an acquaintance with of sorts, uh, Ross Patterson. It's FDR American Badass. Uh, Chris, next. All right, so you guys ruled against me. You said the lady with three boobs and total recall didn't count. I'll start off with number five is uh, the phaser from Star Trek. Mm -hmm. It kills, it stuns, and can be used as a blowtorch. If we had those phasers in the navy would you have to test the stun portion on ourselves to be qualified to use it yeah okay yeah 100 all right my number four sci-fi gadget weapon is the actual death star <laughs> i like that one a lot I, that was on my that was on my okay yeah, so three is the proton pack i like that number bit. two it's the hoverboard from back to the future two yeah and then number one of course is the lightsaber slash light bow staff i, I went <laughs> A little differently, I, I guess you'd say. These were things that I saw as a kid, but now we kind of have them. You're going to talk about the telephone and color TV? <laughs> it, we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. If you've ever watched uh, 2001 A Space Odyssey, they had these little, you know, thin as a notebook TVs that they were watching. Uh, they were watching their little broadcast from, and I thought, my God, that, that would be the greatest thing ever. <laughs> And fuck, now we've got it. Goddamn now iPads and shit. Uh, <laughs> the movie uh, Blade Runner, and he has a, a photograph, which nobody has anymore. Puts it into a machine, and it can zoom in and scan the photograph. Well, now you can fucking do it on your phone. Uh, from Alien or Aliens, they had the motion detector, which I thought was the coolest thing ever. I'm like, oh my god, you can see where people... And now we fucking have portable radar. I did want a Star Trek communicator. And the last one, I, I guess we kind of have this uh, with portable equipment. I wanted a tricorder. For, uh, Does everybody the have area? their sci-fi fantasy gadget yes. here yeah. ready? My five sci-fi slash fantasy thingies. Yeah, thingies. Uh, I went with uh, the Infinity Gauntlet. <laughs> Thanos. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, I also picked uh, one ring to rule them all. I, I picked the uh, the pick of destiny, uh, Darth Maul's lightsaber. I really like that sci-fi weapon, gadget, whatever. Uh, and my last one was uh, the Lawgiver, Judge Dredd's uh, firearm. <laughs> On my list, I have from Star Trek the food materializer. Oh yeah. Like, and then I have the. Um, from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, the point of view gun gives empathy. It basically shoots empathy. Okay, some Harry Potter shit. <laughs> I've got two things. The faux glass and the put outer deluminator. Um, from Doctor Who, I have psychic paper and... The watch that makes you unnoticeable. I don't remember what it's called. They were both in like the specials though. So yeah. technically a movie. 